Krishna, 
गौरचंद्राय पराजिताल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो तवई वास्मे तवई वास्मे First, I offer my most humble obeisances to Mr. Gurude, and I offer my humble obeisances to all the Vaishnavas assembled here today, especially the Sunyas and the Anyone here. Um, Gurude has asked me to speak about a little bit about the distribution of the table. As we saw when Ajahn Didi was singing that beautiful song, Varajo Vipine, we could all witness Gurude's depth, his absorption, secrets of the spiritual realm. Literally, these books on that table are precious gems. A glimpse of Guru's heart, his soul, his mind, hours and hours, days, months, so much of his time pouring his heart into these books. And his only request to each and every one of us, all of you and myself, is that we take this, these gems that he has carried from Vrindavan Dam, these carried from Goloka Vrindavan, and brought here, over, crossing the ocean, crossing over so many things, is that we share this precious gems with every, anyone, that, every, anyone and everyone. So Gurudev, his desire, he, the first day he saw, came to the book table, he said, I want that all these books are gone before the last day of the festival. So, we have also so many new titles. Journey of the Soul, Jiva Tattva, we have Archan Deepika, and the, and the prices are amazing. <laughs> for one Archan Deepika, for example, for Jiva Tattva, Journey of the Soul, for one, it's $12. But if you get a pack of five, then you would give it $7 each book. If you get a case, $5 each book. And all the prices are like this. So I pray. So Ramananda Samvar, Archan Deepika, Reprint of Renu The Essence of All Advice, so, Butter Thief, so many Butter Thieves, so many. Of, we brought more books than in any other festival. So, I pray, I pray to Gurudev that his desire will be fulfilled in this festival. And that each and every one of you will will get a case of books <laughs> or or if you're afraid oh i can't distribute i'm scared I'm, i can't do it that's fine you can sponsor to those persons there's so many people that have come up to me and said brother please if anyone wants to donate books let me know so many brahmacharis are here ready but they don't have the lakshmi so please i beg all of you humbly that we all make good desire come true in this festival <laughs> Book distribution is one of the preaching tasks. I think in a couple of days, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, a priest of our all world, by books. I want also that as at the time of Siddha. Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Very soon he preached by books. I have written not less than hundred books. So many translations are coming. So I want that these books should go door to door. So, I request you that there is a book a stall here, very small, in a two, day or two, any book should not be there. All should be taken and pushed every time.
there are calendars uh, also the books of samrani postcards postcards and so many things you can collect फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम अफूल वेन टू वृंदावन एंड इन ही इनवाइटेड ओ और उन्होंने something after what it will come very great just sorry guys so akru told that your father and your mother was dead dead or tortured so much you must do you must go to mathura and also after ras narad men to krishna prabhu i want to see your all sweet pastimes why not mathura and after mathura why not dwarka your one of the main god is bhubhar har so you will have to go do vrindavan is love and affection of place anyone cannot give up that's gopis nand maharaj jasoda from heart core of heart they are loving krishna so why and how krishna can give up nand baba jasoda maiya why he will go to mathura and dwarka krishna is satya sankalpa krishna satya sankalpa hai jo kuch kahenge वो पूरा करके रहेंगे इसको कहते हैं सत्संकल्प सो वैन कृष्ण जबकि कृष्ण आ रहे थे गोपियों ने दौत्य का दूतों के मुख से कहा मैं आऊंगा कंस का वध करके आऊंगा और आऊंगा मुझे कोई रोक नहीं सकता 
इसलिए कृष्ण जब भी सत्य संकल्प है तो उनका वाक्य पूरा होना चाहिए जब मैं आऊंगा आऊंगा निश्चित आऊंगा ये पूरा किया कि नहीं ये देखना है विश्वराज चक्रवर्ती ठक कुर कह रहे हैं जय कृष्ण यदि केवल सांत्वना देने के लिए कह रहे हैं दूसरों के लिए नहीं कह रहे हैं केवल उनको सांत्वना देने के लिए उनका वचन और कार्य दोनों में यदि भेद है तो, तो संकल्प है संत संकल्प वही होगा जो कृष्ण चाहेंगे वो जरूर करेंगे ओ यू गुरु वे गौर चंद राधिकारे कृष्ण कृष्ण भक्त तट भक्त नमो नम So Krishna is described everywhere as Satya Sankalpa. That means whatever He promises by His mouth, He must complete by action. So, when Sri Krishna left Mathura and went to when Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Mathura, then He sent by any messenger the promise: "I must return. I must return. I must return." After killing Kamsa, I will return to Vrindavan, and no one can check me. Therefore, for someone to be called such a sankalpa, there should be no difference between their words and their activities. So Krishna's promise must be true. And how did he fulfill it? Sri Bishwana Chakravarti Thakur asked the question: Did Sri Krishna speak this through the messenger only to pacify others? If so, then he is not such a sankalpa. Therefore, we will have to see how he completed his promise to return to Brindavan. संकल्प तो कैसे पूरा किया उनका कर्मी में और कथन में अलग नहीं होना चाहिए कृष्ण एंड बलदेव ही केम विथ था क्रूर टू मथुरा एंड ग्रेजुअली हे किल्ड कुबल्या पीठ दरवाजे हो वो उसको तीन भागों में तोड़ करके रख दिया फिर भीतर में गए कंस ने सोचा था जब कृष्ण को अकेले मथुरा में वृंदावन में रहता था उसको मारा नहीं जा सकता इसलिए आकरू तुम जाओ और कृष्ण बलदेव को ले आओ इसलिए अक्रूर गए ले आए और कृष्ण ने एरेना में घूम घूम करके चारुण मुस्त को मारा बलदेव जी ने भी मारा इस प्रकार मंच के ऊपर में उछल करके गए और कहा जाए इसी बल पर तुम मेरी मैया देवकी उसको मारना चाहता था इसलिए तुम्हारा इसी प्रकार से वध करूंगा और झट मंच के ऊपर में कूद गए और उसकी चोटी पकड़ ली युद्ध करने का अवकाश नहीं दिया और नीचे गिरा करके उसी के ऊपर में कृष्ण कूद गए और उसे खींच करके देखा 
जे जीवित है कि मरा है हाहाकार मच गई रानिया रोने लग गई कृष्ण ने सबको सांत्वना दे करके उसका सत्कर्म कराया और फिर जो जदु लोग इधर उधर भाग गए थे उन सबको एकत्रित किया फिर एकत्रित करने के बाद में ये तो बहुत दिनों की बात हुई एक दिन में तो सबको बुलाना उग्रसेन को राज्य देना उग्रसेन बोले जी मैं बूढ़ा हो गया अब मुझसे राज्य का भार नहीं चलेगा कल जैसे जिसको हम प्रणाम करते हैं उसको देवता लोग भी बद्ध है आकर के उनको प्रणाम करें तो। So, Siyakura, he took Sri Krishna and Balaram from Braj to Mathura. There in Mathura, Sri Krishna and Balaram together, they killed the elephant demon Kuvaliyapit. They broke the worshipful bow of Shankar into three places. Devil Kamsa had been thinking, <clears throat> if Krishna is in Vrindavan, it's not possible for me to kill him. Therefore, for that reason, he sent Akura to Vrindavan to bring Krishna out of Vrindavan and to Mathura. But there what happened? See, Krishna and Balaram killed the wrestlers, demonic wrestlers, Charan and Mustak. There Krishna saw Kamsa was on a high platform. Then he became very angry. Oh, he wanted to kill my mother. Devaki, I'll see to you. Therefore, Krishna very quickly jumped onto the platform where Kamsa was there and grabbed him by the hair and did not give him any chance to fight. Then Krishna threw him on the ground and jumped upon his chest and finished him. There was some were doubting, is he alive or dead? Therefore Krishna dragged him. <laughs> Everyone began crying, alas, alas, the king is dead. Kamsa's wives were also weeping busily. Then Krishna himself performed the funeral ceremonies of Kamsmaraj. Therefore, when the Yadus heard that Kams had been slaughtered, killed, then all the Yadus who had been flung here and there all came together and congregated in Mathura. Therefore, Krishna, we, uh, Krishna did all this. Therefore, in one day, Krishna established Ugrasen, who was Kams's father, as the king. So Ugrasen was saying, I am very old, I am weak, I have no power to be king. Then Krishna established him as king. Uh, all the demigods should also worship him. Don't worry. Here, Vishwa Nacha Kabarti is asking question and answering. Oh, we are doing a question. और प्रश्न का उत्तर भी दे रहे हैं क्यों हम लोग उसका समाधान नहीं कर सकते जहां पर प्रेम मिलता है आदमी वहीं रहना चाहता है वसुदेव देव की कार कृष्ण के प्रति प्रेम है किंतु नंद जसोदा का जीतना कृष्ण के प्रति प्रेम है गोपियों का जीतना प्रेम है उतना नहीं है वहां पर बहुत कम है यहां पर वृंदावन में ब्रज में पूर्ण है कृष्ण मथुरा से आते समय जो कहा था मैं आऊंगा आऊंगा और अवश्य आऊंगा तो वो कहा जाएगा संकल्प यदि वाणी के साथ में उनका कर्तव्य भी वैसा ही होता है तब तो वो ठीक है और वाणी और वो दोनों एक नहीं होते तो तो 
जहां प्रेम मिलता है उस स्थान को नहीं छोड़ा कृष्ण ने ब्रज को क्यों छोड़ा यदि छोड़ा भी तो गोपियों को भी मथुरा ले जाते मथुरा ले क्यों नहीं गए एक ही रात में मथुरा से द्वारका चले गए वहां के सब कुछ छोड़कर वो मथुरा से द्वारका चले गए इनके लिए क्या संभव है कृष्ण के लिए भगवान है ना इनके लिए कुछ भी असंभव Therefore, Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, in the form of Purva Paks, that means he himself is presenting the questions, and he himself is giving the answer. Why is he doing like this? Because it is not possible for ordinary persons like us to reconcile these apparently inconceivable differences. Therefore, Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur raises the question: A person must stay where he achieve, where he gets the most affection. Therefore, even though it's true, Basudev and Devaki in Mathura have prem so much for Sri Krishna, but still their prem cannot be equal or supersede the prem of Nandi or Soda. What to speak of the Braj Gopis? Therefore, how is it possible that Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Mathura? Also, another question is there. Krishna promised at the time of leaving Vrindavan and going to Mathura. I will come. I will definitely come. I promise I will come. Therefore, if Krishna fulfilled his words and went back to Vrindavan, then that will be okay. But it seems that he did not. There it seems there is a difference between Krishna's promise and his activities. Therefore, this raises another doubt. Therefore, how Krishna can leave that place where he achieves, where he receives the most prema? Why did he leave Vrindavan? Another question is there. Then, if Krishna in one night he took all the millions of residents of Mathura and transferred them to Dwarka, then why he could not brought the gopis from Vrindavan to Mathura? After all, he is Bhagawan, and nothing is impossible for him. So why he did not do so? जब कंस मारा गया तो कृष्ण एवं बलराम देवकी के पास में गए और बोले उनको देख करके कृष्ण बलदेव के जो कौन से जैसे वीर को मार सकता है तो भला मनुष्य है वो जरूर भगवान है इसलिए देवकी ने बसुदेव जी ने उनको प्रणाम तक नहीं किया हाथ जोड़ करके खड़े हो गए बलदेव जी ने कहा और कृष्ण ने जी मैया तो हमें प्यार तक नहीं कर रही हमें भगवान मान रही इसलिए अपने जोग माया को आश्रय करके उनके उस भाव को जब वो भुलवा दिया कृष्ण स्वयं भगवान है सब लोग भूल गए उन्होंने कहा कि माता पिता को हम लोग बचपन में जो माता पिता पुत्र को लालन पालन करता है वो सुख हमने तुम लोगों को नहीं दिया इसलिए हम लोग बड़े दुखी हैं हमारे बचपन की किशोर लीलाएं आप लोग आस्वादन नहीं कर सके इसलिए 
अपनी जोग माया के प्रभाव से भगवत भाव ऐश्वर्य भाव भुला दिया और तब मैया जस देवकी और पिता वसुदेव जी दोनों को गोदी में लेकर के स्नेह से बातचीत करने लगे हाँ Therefore, after Krishna and Balaram killed Kamsa, they approached Devaki and Vasudev. Therefore, Devaki and Vasudev were thinking, how Krishna could kill such a huge, powerful hero like Kamsa? He could not be any human being. He must be the supreme Lord Himself. Therefore, they became filled with feelings of awe and reverence. They could not even bow to the ground. They simply stood with their hands joined and prayed to Krishna. Then Krishna was thinking. Ali, they cannot give me so much affection because they think that I am Bhagawan, the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Krishna, being dissatisfied with this slightly, he called his Yoga Maya, and that made Devaki and Vasudev forget that Krishna was the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Krishna said, "The mother and father give so much affection to the child, and by that they get great happiness. But alas, we could not give you that happiness because we were take we went to Vrindavan." Therefore, Krishna's yoga maya enabled them to forget their feelings of awe and reverence to Sri Krishna, and then, being filled with a new mood of parental affection, they took Krishna and Balaram on their lap and began talking to them with great affection. When Kans was killed, Jabki Kans mara gaya. तो सब ब्रजवासी मथुरापुर वासी कहने लगे ये दोनों देवकी के पुत्र हैं नंद और जसोदा तो पुष्य पिता माता है यथार्थ में उनके पिता यही हैं वो नहीं है तुम देवकी और वसुदेव के पुत्र हो तुम नंद जसोदा जब कंस का अत्याचार होने लगा तो तुमको भेजा गया वहां पर और उन्होंने बड़े अच्छी तरह से तुम्हारी सेवा की किंतु पुष्य माता पिता हैं असल में है ये इस प्रकार से कहने लगे उधर में कंस को मारने के बाद में सारी व्यवस्था के लिए कहा तो किंतु थोड़े देर के बाद में ही हमारे वंश में राजा का बात नहीं है इसलिए मैं आप बूढ़े होने पर भी सबके मान्य है उग्रसेन को राजा के रूप में बैठाया पर जिसका आदेश हम मानते हैं उनका आदेश देवता तक नहीं टाल सकते इसलिए और उधर में नंद बाबा के पास में कंस के मारने के बाद में थोड़ी देर के बाद में रात में नंद बाबा वहां बिलख करके रो रहे थे अभी तक आए नहीं क्या बात है शाम को जबकि कृष्ण आए तो नंद बाबा एक तरफ बलदेव को और एक तरफ कृष्ण को बैठाकर और दोनों हाथों से पकड़ करके कान बोलो तो तुम्हारा भी प्राय क्या है 
इतनी देर तक मैं तुम लोगों को देखता रहा और आए नहीं मैं देखते 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 थक गया था सो सो आफ्टर कृष्ण किल्ड कंसा All the residents of Mathura, Bas, all the residents of Mathura began saying, "Really, they are the sons of Basudev and Devaki. Actually, Nanda and Yasoda are simply step parents." Then all began telling Krishna and Balaram, "You are really the sons of Basudev and Devaki, because Kamsa was causing so much disturbance to your parents, and because they they loved you so much, they sent you to Brindavan, and there you fell under the very affectionate care of Nanda and Yasoda." But Nandi and Soda are not your real parents. Your real parents are Devaki and Basudev. Therefore, Sri Krishna, he, after some time, he was saying, "Because I come in the Yadu dynasty, no one in our dynasty can become king. Therefore, for this reason, I will establish Uber Singh as king. You should not be afraid that anyone will disobey you, because even I am following his instructions. Therefore, all the demigods." in the whole universe will also follow your instruction so while this was going on all this political arrangement then sri nanda baba was waiting and crying when krishna and balaram will come back for me as yet they have not come so at night time sri krishna and balaram came and nanda baba he took krishna and balaram each on one side of his lap and embraced them and began speaking with them with so much affection Oh, for so long I was waiting for you. In fact, I waited so long I became very tired. Krishna is very tricky. <laughs> When he goes to Devaki Basude, Baste, Tatta unhi ko mata pita kahte hain. Aur saam ko jab aaye. तो नंद ज, नंद बाबा जो बैठे हैं उनसे कहते हैं कि पिताजी सभी लोग कह रहे हैं कि तुम वसुदेव के पुत्र हो नंद के पुत्र नहीं हो मुझे रोक रहे हैं तुम्हारे पास आने के लिए बलदेव प्रभु कह रहे हैं पहले देखो बाबा जो माता पिता पुत्र को बचपन में छोड़ देता है रास्ते में और जो आंख की पुतली की भांति प्यार से रखता है वो माता पिता है मैं ब्रज में गया और नंद जसोदा जी ने हमें पिता और माता की तरह में पालन पोषण किया अतः हमारे माता पिता वही हैं। जन्मदाता पिता नहीं अतए यदि कृष्ण को आप लेकर के ब्रज में चले जाएंगे मैं यहां नहीं रह सकता यदि ब्रह्मा आए और हजारों बार कहे तुम जाओ तो मैं नहीं जा सकता तब नंद बाबा ने पूछा अच्छा ये बतलाओ तो सचमुच में तुम्हारा भी प्राय क्या है बलदेव बोले बाबा तुम ही हमारे माता पिता हो 
आप कृष्ण को लेकर के ब्रज में चले जाएंगे और मैं यहाँ पर वसुदेव जी के यहाँ पर अकेले रोता रहूंगा ये ब्रह्मा भी आकर के कहे तो हम नहीं मानेंगे कृष्ण जहाँ रहेगा वहीं पर हम भी जाएंगे नंद बाबा बोले भाई बात तो बिगड़ रही नंद कहा जे बेटा देखो वसुदेव ने तुम्हारा तुम्हारे लिए ही कृष्ण के लिए ही माता पिता ने उनको इतना ए, कंस ने उनको इतना कष्ट दिया यदि वो वाणी नहीं होती आकाश वाणी इसके गर्भ से सातवा आठवा पुत्र तुम्हें मारेगा तो क्या होता हम तो कष्ट नहीं देता तो वो कष्ट नहीं देता किंतु उसी के लिए इतना कष्ट सहा कितना दिन जन्म से लेकर के अब तक मैं बलदेव की भी लेकर के जाऊ तो लोग कहेंगे जो बड़ा भारी नंद बाबा स्वार्थी है स्वार्थी है लोग निंदा करेंगे हमें बलदेव को भी ले गया और बलदेव जी कह रहे हैं मैं सौगंध खा करके कहता हूं आप कृष्ण को बजदि ब्रज में ले जाएंगे तब बिना कृष्ण का मैं नहीं रह सकता मथुरा में वसुदेव देव जी के पास श्रीकृष्णा <coughs> Hmm. And also, all mature Basi are also saying the same thing. They are catching me and saying, "Listen, you are really the son of Basudev. Dev, I wanted to come and meet you before, but all the residents of Mature stopped me from coming to meet you. Then they were thinking what to say. Then Balaram gave nice answer. Balaram said, 'Listen, father, Baba, that parents who give up the baby.'" that cannot be called a real parent but rather that those parents those persons who look after the child like the eyelids protect the eye that person is real mother and father only one who gives birth this is not the real mother and father the one who protects and nourishes like a mother and father they are the real mother and father therefore you are saying that i will stay here alone with without krishna that is completely impossible balaram is saying Even if Lord Brahma the creator of the universe comes to me thousands of times and says be without Krishna be without Krishna I cannot be without him Then Nanda Baba said what do you want what is your decision Then Balaram said oh really Nanda Baba you are my real father and your soul is my real mother I cannot stay here alone and cry and be here with Devaki and Basudev without Krishna Even if Brahma says so and gives me order, I cannot follow his instruction. Then Nanda Baba said, "But another problem is there. Basudev and Devaki were so much tortured by King Kamsa. At the time of marriage of Basudev and Devaki, a voice came from the sky: 'O oh, fool, Kamsa, the eighth child will be the cause of your death. Therefore, because of you, Krishna, because of Krishna, she, they both had to suffer so many years in jail.'" If that voice had not come they would not have suffered. 
Therefore, at this time, after so many years of suffering, then I take Krishna away to Vrindavan. Then all will say, Nanda Baba is very selfish and cruel. After so many years suffering again, he is taking Krishna away from Basudev and Devaki. Therefore, <clears throat> I cannot take Krishna away, Balaram is saying. And Balaram is saying, I cannot be alone without Krishna. Nanda mm. is thinking, if I take mm. Balaram away from here, all Nanda will never side. thought Krishna mm. is their son. But if I take even Balaram with Krishna, then all will criticize me and told he's very selfish. He take his own son even taking the Bosley Devaki son also with him. It's not fair. Oh, one kitchen. <laughs> Any kitchen you like.
श्रीमद भा, भागवत में लिखा है कि इस प्रकार से संत ना दे करके बहुत धन सोने अलंकार दे करके नंद बाबा को नंद बाबा को विदा किया है तो क्या नंद बाबा धन संपत्ति के लिए आए थे ये तो कभी हो नहीं सकता क्या धन के लिए ही यहाँ मथुरा करके उनको मिल गया और ले करके चले गए बस खत्म ये तो ठीक है प्रेम की लघुता है यह अतएव मैं समझता हूं कि जो कुछ कहा बलदेव जी ने और जो कुछ कहा कृष्ण ने उसका तात्पर्य क्या है ये गुढ़ रूप से समझना चाहिए कृष्ण जब अक्रूर के साथ आने लगे तो कृष्ण ने कहा था मैं आऊंगा आऊंगा और अवश्य आऊंगा सप्त संकल्प कृष्ण है भगवान है उनका कोई बात इधर उधर नहीं जाता तो वो कब गए बलदेव तो गए हैं कुछ दिनों के बाद में ब्रिज में किंतु कृष्ण नहीं गए एक बार वही गए भी तो सूर्य ग्रहण के समय में वो गए सब रानियों के साथ में सेना के साथ में गोपियां भी आई गोपियां उनको मन के रथ के ऊपर में ले गई बिंदा ये तो श्रीमद भागवत में लिखा है कृष्ण यदि सप्त संकल्प है उनको जरूर ब्रज में आना चाहिए नहीं तो झूठे हैं कृष्ण कृष्ण गए कि नहीं उपासन तो ऐसा नहीं देखता पद्म पुराण में ऐसा लिखा है दंत वक्र जरासंधि इत्यादि सबको मार करके अंत में शत्रु हीन करके द्वारकापुर में शत्रुओं को मार करके एक बार गए किंतु तो उस समय पद्म पुराण में लिखा है भज की सब जितनी गोपियां थी गोप थे सबको लेकर के बैक गोलोक वृंदावन में लेकर के पहुंचा दिया और अपने दूसरे प्रकाश में मथुरेश के रूप में या द्वारका के रूप में वो अपने लीलाएं करने लगे तो यह प्रश्न ये है कि कृष्ण सत्य संकल्प है कि यह कैसे पूरा होगा इसी के लिए कहते हैं कृष्ण भगवान है और ये अलौकिक योग माया का आश्रय लेकर के लीला करते हैं इसलिए
कृष्ण और बलराम एक प्रकाश दो तो प्रकाश प्रकट किया एक प्रकाश से नंद बाबा कृष्ण बलदेव को छोड़ करके रोते हुए गए एक प्रकाश ये और दूसरे प्रकाश में नंद बाबा कृष्ण और बलदेव को दोनों को साथ लेकर बड़े आनंद में मग्न हो करके गए ये कैसे सत्य होगा उसके लिए कार्य है Balaram is saying, if you take to Nanda Baba, if you take Krishna to Vrindavan, then I cannot stay here alone. But also, if I come with you, then all will criticize Nanda Baba that he is very selfish. No? So, this next section, Shrimad Bhagavatam describes what happened next. But really, the, re the essence of this pastime is very difficult to understand and most confidential. But externally, the Srimad Bhagavatam describes that after hearing the arguments of Krishna and Balaram, then see Krishna and Balaram pacified him. They gave him many of their golden ornaments, and said, and uh, Nanda Baba returned back to Vrindavan, weeping. But really, is this possible? Did Nanda Baba sell to Krishna and Balaram? Did he come here to collect wealth? Is that why he came all the way from Braj to Mathura? But this is quite impossible, because prema, pure devotion, never takes, it always gives. Therefore, the real meaning of the, the statements of the Bhagavatam, that should be understood also. Therefore, Krishna had promised at the time of going with Akura to, from Vrindavan to Mathura, he had promised, I will definitely come. Therefore, see Krishna is Satya Sankalpa. Everything he says must be true. Therefore, but we cannot see any direct evidence in Bhagavatam that Krishna returned. We hear that Balaram returned to Vrindavan for two months. We cannot hear anywhere that see Krishna returned to Vrindavan. Bhagavatam describes that Krishna at the time of the solar eclipse, Krishna went to Kurukshetra with his 16,108 queens. And there he met with the Prajabhasis there. But Bhagavatam only describes that Krishna went back to Vrindavan carried in the minds of the Brajagopis, not that he went directly himself. Therefore, is Krishna's promise broken? Because in Sri Bhagavatam it is not written anywhere that he returned back to Vrindavan. There are some references in the Padma Puran that after Krishna killed Jarasandha and especially Dandavakra, when there are no more enemies left on the earth planet, from there, Krishna took all the Brijabhasis and back to Goloka Vrindavan. And but still he stayed in one form as Dwarkadish Krishna or Mathuradish Krishna. But still even this reference from the Padma Ran does not prove Krishna's words true because he did not personally go back to Braj. Therefore, question arises, is Krishna's promise broken? <coughs> then Guru Mahesh says, how we understand this? Krishna is Bhagavan. The Supreme Lord, everything is possible for Him. He performs all His leelas under the direct shelter of His Alokic Yoga Maya, His transcendental spiritual deluding potency. Therefore, how we should understand this pastime? Guru Maharaj says that Krishna and Balaram, they manifested into two forms. In one form, what the Bhagavatam described must be true. That Nana Baba, He took the golden ornaments from Sri Krishna and Balaram, and weeping, weeping, alone, he returned to Braj, and Krishna Balaram stayed in Mathura. But in another prakosh, another section, another manifestation of their pastimes, that Nanda Baba, with Krishna Balaram, with great ecstasy, all went on the bullock cart and all went back to Vrindavan together. There were two manifestations were manifest at that time. That is how we can reconcile this pastime. So, <clears throat> from the last bit from where? Krishna made Guru Prakosh. Guru Prakosh. 
So, Sri Krishna. Don't go like my sister. So, the reference from the Padma Puran, which we also accept as true, that after killing Jayasanda and Dandavaka, then Krishna took all the Brijabhasis from there back to Goloka Vrindavan, and he still stayed in one form in this world as the Lord of Mathura and also as the Lord of Dwarka. But even this reference from the Padma Puran does not prove Krishna's words true. So how will we understand this? So, Guru Maharaj describes that at the time when all this conversation was taking place between Nanda Baba, Sri Krishna and Balaram, they came at night to meet him. Then Bhagavatam describes that Krishna and Balaram gave their gold ornaments to Nanda Baba and they stayed in Mathura while Nanda Baba returned to Vrindavan alone, weeping and weeping. But Guru Maharaj describes that Balaram manifested two, Krishna and Balaram manifested two forms. This is called Prakosh, like two different rooms in a house, two different sections of their pastimes. In one section of the pastime, Krishna and Balaram stayed in Mathura, Nanda Baba went alone and weeping. But in another section of their pastimes, Sri Krishna and Balaram sat in the bullock cart of Nanda Baba and returned with him to Vrindavan. All were absorbed in great happiness. So simultaneously, both these pastimes happened. Oh, what from you? You understood? Any question? Yeah. Question comes up that if the Krishna Bala went back to bring down in the Krishna Bala, then that that uh, form of Krishna Balaram was unmanifest in Vrindavan or they went back to the spiritual world because he did not manifest in the earthly pastimes at that time in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. Prabhu is telling that it is never mentioned or understood which form of Krishna and Balaram went when Krishna and Balaram came back with Nanda Baba, as we just heard, to Vrindavan. We... Oh, that I am going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> we have another question. We have also heard that Krishna never leaves Vrindavan. Yes. At the time when Akru left Vrindavan, Krishna and Balaram stayed in Vrindavan. Krishna cannot give up Vrindavan for a moment. So always Krishna is there. In any Bhagavat Shlok or anywhere, I cannot feel it. Vrindavanam Parittajya Padavikam Nagachati So this is true. Who went to Mathura as Varka? One Prakash of Krishna, one Prakash of Baladev. They went there, not Krishna. And most important thing is that when Krishna sent Uddhav, and Uthav went to Vrindavan to counsel, consolate Nandvaba, Jasoda and Gopis. What? When he entered Vrindavan. Huh? Huh? Uthav went at first, when he was sending Uddhav, Uddhav told, How can I live without you? I cannot live without you. Krishna told, I am partly there in Mathura, but fully I am always in Vrindavan.
तो व्हाट व्हेन ही इंटर इन वृंदावन ही सा सम साण लड़ रहे थे फाइटिंग वो फाइटिंग फॉर काउस एंड ही सा दैट गोपीज है बैंड बन पे घी लैम्प very beautiful sugandh is coming from all ways and he saw that cows from cow herding all are coming with the dust the chariot of golden chariot was covered as the eve krishna is fully there there can it be otherwise no so one prakash vigrah of krishna with nand baba alone weeping and second oh with krishna baladev happily offered joy he was he returned back to raja in this way he has uh, reconciled reconciled all the things gov pramanande so one thing see yes on for completely new people who don't understand what's going on here then just half an hour like at 7:30 i'll give a little explanation just here in the back here just new people completely new people nanda gopal police hari we have i'm now very short tonight we have a martin nachum dance and then tomorrow morning uh at 7:30 we have shri pad madhav maharaj we'll give class a short class and then after that we'll begin our full preparation for anakut mahamahotsava shri guru dev has called shri guru raj <laughs> Where is your wife? Oh, both will come. So. After class we have so many nice food stuffs 